Hello there, and welcome back to Clovis County. Uh, so last time we worked on this apple orchard, which I think came out quite nicely. Uh, I think it's a good place for uh, people in the community, once we have our community developed, to come and spend some time, you know, uh, enjoy apple picking or whatnot during that season. Um, you know, bring the whole family kind of place. Um, so one thing I had wanted to do today is develop our little town area. However, we still really are hurting on industrial demand. So I think a better idea is to continue uh, building out some of our farms and orchards and things like that. Uh, to satisfy some of that demand. Uh, unfortunately, the next build I want to do probably won't satisfy much of it, as it uses a lot of custom assets. Uh, but I have some ideas on how I think we can throw some uh, service blocks in there to, you know, turn some of the workshop assets into functioning assets. So, um... One of the things I have around me, in addition to all the apple orchards, is a lot of uh, wineries, vineyards, if you will. Um, so I thought we might make a nice little uh, vineyard. Something that uh, maybe is more of an adult-oriented uh, space than this, this family-oriented apple orchard. And we might imagine that it's probably the same uh, people that own everything. Although, uh, maybe not. Uh, the apple orchard could uh, have its own, you know, hard cider kind of thing. Maybe it's a competitor of a winery. Who knows? Uh, but I think what I want to do is utilize this space right up in here. We have a lot more fertile land up in here. Um... So we'll utilize some of this space for our, our winery. So we're going to start off, I'll pause it quickly because I want to bring back these power lines, give us some space to work in, and start to think about how we want this to be set up. Uh, again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to utilize the dirt roads a lot for this area. I think this is going to be more of a drive, driveway off of our our main road here than it is a a road that would be utilized for through traffic so let's come out I'd like to come out about here I think we'll come out 20 uh, so what I'm going to do is create a nice little space for our our main area of our winery to sit and I downloaded some assets specifically for this uh, vineyard assets and uh, this looks like it's one from Germany uh, but I thought it would, it would be a really cool Ooh, I would like to get that centered so let's see, we are currently sitting at 10 units, so if we bring that to 9, we should do what we want. So yeah, this building is based off of one in Germany. This is much more uh, monumental than some of the wineries I have near me, that's for sure, but I did want something you know, rather dramatic. Um, and this one is actually going to need a road to connect to further. So let's continue this and maybe we'll put some parking up there. These are our little support buildings. And now it does have this piece as well, um, but I don't really have any good way to incorporate this right now. So I think we're going to leave that out. But 
but I do want to utilize this. Oh, and this one is, of course, going to center slightly differently, so maybe we'll put this over here. You know, this might be your public access, uh, you know, maybe like a tasting room or something in there, uh, where I would imagine this would be much more of a formal, uh, a lot of wineries, you know, they have the ability to have like weddings and formal events. So I would imagine that would be what this space would be used for. And uh, I definitely want to get, we got to get our power back in here. I'm going to switch over to the rural lines. They're just a little bit less intrusive. Uh, I know I would, you would, you would want a transformer of some form, uh, a relay station uh, to convert from the bigger ones to the little ones, but I don't have an asset like that, so. And it's all going to get deleted as we move along anyway. Alright, so I think this is going to be the basic layout. Uh, as with our orchard, we want some kind of space in here. I, I, I kind of like this community park asset. It has that little pergola. Uh, you, you know, you can design things like this on your own, but they don't attract the people. Um, and the only way I really know how to do that is using the park generators inside park spaces. So, I think this will do. And then we can go into our sidewalk cafe. We're going to have to use Anarchy to ram this in here. And let's just check out the variations. We're going to clean this up. We're going to get rid of that concrete. Surface painter is uh, very, very useful for doing things like that. So, let's see, just so we can see the facing of this a little bit better. I do like the brick. It's a little urban feeling. That is way too modern feeling. Uh, I think the brick is going to end up being our, our best fit. Uh, as we got all these red roofs in here. So we'll use that as a little cafe space. Yeah, you could imagine people using the, uh, the winery, sitting out here, drinking their little glasses. I think we can unpause the game. And then the last thing I want to think about before we start building out the winery, you know, the orchards. Oops, water. Definitely needs water. Um, is parking. So what kind of parking we can get in here. Uh, I have, again, I, I really wish I had some form of dirt or grass parking. Um, I didn't really find much that was amazing on the marketplace. And a lot of these parking lots I'm not a fan of. So the one I'm, I'm going to use, I believe, is the City Planner Plays Basic Lot. And the reason I'm going to use it is because you can surface painter it to uh, different colors. 
it won't look perfect, uh, that's for sure, because the white lines are still very bold, but it's, it's better. So, if I remember correctly, gravel is going to be our best bet. Because it doesn't actually give you the grassy look. Do I like that? Yeah, we're going to use this gravel kind of look to it. I'll clean this up as best I can. I think that's going to be the best we can do. Let's just smooth this out. It's actually something. Let's just smooth out this area a bit. Uh, I believe my my vineyard asset or my my vine asset is terrain conforming, but never hurts. A little bit of planning, something I'm not good at. And then while I'm in here. We can do that. Alright, so this is going to be the core of our uh, our winery here. here. We got some sub-buildings. Maybe that's some of the storage for the casks or the barrels or whatever you call them. Uh, our, our formal area, our informal area, and then uh, you know, a, a cafe kind of place, and some outdoor seating. So, the asset we're going to use for our fields uh, is this grape vineyard prop. Uh, it's a low poly option. So I don't know what that means. <laughs> I look on the marketplace and I see all these low poly or high poly and triangles and I have no idea what any of them mean. So this one seemed to be, this one was used in, in another asset as well. That's actually how I got it. It was a, a required subscription for another vineyard asset that I didn't end up using for the build. We might pop it in somewhere later. Maybe have a competing vineyard somewhere down the way, a little less ornate. So one thing I noticed with these is it does pop out into this other mode quite quickly. Uh, which isn't great, but I guess uh, I'll have to make do. So, I'm most likely going to time-lapse the rest of this. You see the idea. I'm going to pop in some little dirt roads and a pretty sprawling vineyard of form of sorts. So I'm going to go uh, into the time lapse for the rest of that.
looks like a great view looking out that back window there. I made a uh, maybe a little small wedding ceremony area overlooking the, the vineyard. I don't know if it would have been a better idea to have a tree on either side and a clear view down the middle, but so these assets look uh, they pop apparently, but I think pretty pretty cool for a, uh, a vineyard kind of winery feel. I don't like how quickly they go into the low detail mode, but I, I, for my first time making a vineyard, I'm not uh, I'm not displeased with this. Um, so it did very little to satisfy any industrial demand because none of these are real buildings. So what I did was go into the, uh, the, what do you call it there? The, the workshop and there are these small crop field basically uh, one by one. So I want to be careful of how I place these because they will generate truck traffic. Um, so I was thinking of possibly putting them in these areas. Uh, just, you know, like some trucks that will come and pick up the the wine to ship it off to the market. So we're going to try something like this. Oh. I don't know why that is doing that. So maybe we aren't going to be using that asset. Uh, as it apparently puts a giant hole in the ground. Wow. Okay, so call that one uh, doesn't work. Let's see. Yeah, that is bizarre. I don't know why it's uh, putting a big old hole in the ground. That's a shame. Do all of them do this? Flour mill, farm maintenance, farm workers, those aren't really, I mean, what I was looking for here. So those won't generate anything. Huh. Okay, well, backup idea. This is just generic industrial, so that'll probably pollute, so I don't want that. Hmm. It 
doesn't tell me anything about pollution. Let's try those. See if that works. I mean, I need this to satisfy some kind of industrial demand. I'm very disappointed about the other assets because uh, the whole goal was that I'd be utilizing, this is a lot of fertile land space, uh, the whole goal was to utilize those to turn it into, you know, farms for my farming industry. But, hey, sometimes you got to make do with what you got to make do with. So we are, does look like, you know what, I'm going to let this run for a little bit. And, uh, we'll be right back. Oh, well, is what it is. Let's just see. If I don't place these things over buildings, what happens? So they just create a giant hole. I, I don't... <laughs> Uh, okay. Well, I guess I should have tested that part of the build out first, but sometimes, you know, you forget to do these things. So, I, I gotta start building out my, my town area here. We're screaming for some services. They're coming from all the way over there, taking a long time to reach us. Um, if, if you notice during my little construction time lapse, I apparently forgot to connect power here and this whole place died so we reset that they shouldn't have to pay the penalty for my uh, stupidity so one of the things I was thinking of about this town area is um, a lot of rural communities are really focused around some form of a church so I'd like to put a church right in here and we'll give it a little parking lot make sure we get power over here for the meantime Maybe set this back just about as far as it will go, so it's not right on the road there. Pull it there. Nice. Alright, and then we want some form of a uh, cemetery. I would imagine for the church. Perfect. And although it's going to spawn vehicles, which is not necessarily what I wanted, but at least it's a functioning cemetery, so that'll be good. So you figure we have a little church, they probably have some form of fencing around the cemetery. Uh, what would be a good fence to use? We could use these hedgerows. I'm not sure if I remember if I like these or not. Yeah, I think that'll be nice. I think there's actually end caps for them someplace. Uh, 
Might be props. Yeah, there we go. So something something we could use is like a an end piece a little higher. I think that would be nice. Something put that right up here. Beautiful. Yeah, I like this. We got our little church. Maybe we put some landscaping in here. Okay, so then let's start thinking about what other services we're going to need in here. A uh, nice little small town area. This is kind of our town center. So obviously we need some fire. Uh, I think a, a local fire department asset would look nice here. This is actually a little bit larger than I'd like, so... Something a little more rural feeling. That's super small. How's this? Yeah, I like that. And then a, uh, a local police station. Maybe right next to the fire station. little public, you know, a little public safety area. Let's get our water pipes in. Perfect. And then finally we'd want some kind of a uh, medical clinic. And then I'd like to use the post office as well. Actually, maybe we'll move you and then we'll put the post office right there because it makes a very nice corner asset. I feel like maybe some other form of, since we have this kind of public area, you know, public service area, maybe a small oops, that would help if I got rid of that. A small office. Is that a three space? Yeah. Government office of some form or another. I don't want anything too big here, but you know, some place you could go, maybe your DMV or social services, that type of thing right in the middle there. Nice. All right, so that is kind of our main area. 
and then I don't remember did we set this to organic and local produce because that's kind of the focus of the commercial that I want in here perfect So then let's drop in some commercial uses and I would like to put a couple of paths in, make this a nice very pedestrian friendly kind of place. You know, I saw in the preview for City Skylines, too, that you're going to be able to drop, like, roads and paths along pre-existing, and it won't break the old network. Uh, it's definitely looking like that's going to be an awesome game. A lot of upgrades at the... You know, they're taking a lot of inspiration from the mods, I think, that are out there. Uh, that's just really cool that they're doing that. Alright, so the final thing that uh, I kind of was thinking about today is, actually maybe we'll leave that for another day. So I'd like to build a, kind of a, you know, this is a, your last stop before reaching the beach community or the city, this is your first stop out. I would imagine you would have some amenities that pop up along the side here, uh, like a gas station, maybe a you know a diner, um, something that people can pop off the highway, grab a bite, grab some gas, and then uh, then get back on the highway. But I think, I think we've made good progress today. Um, I'd also like to expand out normal farming in this area here. And then work on making some nice rural housing back here. And that will probably be it for the town. So maybe another episode or two on the town here. I'm going to detail up a little bit. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you again so much for watching.